Hey everybody, it's your announcer Paul Allen from the TCO studios thrilled. Some would say tickled to do one of my very favorite segments. It's called pick six. Thanks to everybody for submitting questions. Let's get after it right now with pertinent Vikings related questions. The first is from Claire in St. Paul. Claire's question is what does the addition of Dom Capers bring to the defense? Well, Dom Capers for 25 years has either been a head coach or defensive coordinator in the NFL. He's coached for well over 30 years. That answers it right there. When you have somebody like Dom Capers, along with offensively Gary Kubiak, and of course with the head coach Mike Zimmer, that is multiple decades of high level experience. So Dom has seen everything and he brings fresh and new ideas to the defense, which by the way, already is good. Excellent question. Thank you very much, Claire. The next one comes from Mike. Here is Mike's question to pick six. Mike, Rock Island, Illinois. NFL, typically copycat league. What concepts do you think the Vikings might adopt from other teams moving into the 2020 season? Well, first and foremost, the concept that personally I would like to adopt is the concept of getting to the Super Bowl and winning the Super Bowl. So the Kansas City Chiefs and that concept, I like it. Let's do that. Outside of that, with the addition of Dom Capers defensively, Gary Kubiak, the offensive coordinator, and he had a lot to do with the offense last year, plus some new coaches and undoubtedly a bevy of new players this offseason. I'm sure in what is called a copycat league, there are things that have been learned and seen that will be implemented here, but do know what was done here last year was good. Good enough to win a playoff game. Hopefully this year, 2020, it is good enough to adopt the Chiefs concept of winning the Super Bowl. I like that. Next question, middle stages of pick six. Artie, how you doing Artie? Here's your question. Artie's question from uh, Oregon is, will the tight ends be utilized differently in Gary Kubiak's offense compared to Kevin Stefanski's offense last year? Good question, but the offense last year, while orchestrated during games by Kevin Stefanski, also had a lot to do with Gary Kubiak and Rick Dennison, the run game coordinator, and the rest of the offensive staff putting together said game plan. From a tight end standpoint, personally speaking, Kyle Rudolph had the best season of his career in the second half of his career. That was good. Irv Smith Jr., the youngest player in the NFL last year, generally speaking, players take a major jump, specifically when they're talented, from years one to two. So the tight ends will be utilized. They're very important to this offense, but I think maturity, experience, continuity will best lead to tight end productivity under the tutelage of Gary Kubiak. Next question for pick six. This one is from Colton. Colton, welcome to the pick six covenant. Colton in Burnsville. Colton thinks it would be amazing to have both Diggs brothers on the roster in 2020. What are my thoughts? Well, first and foremost, I am not an elite college football mind, but inherently, People fall into good players for Alabama because Alabama is such a good team. Now, Stefan's brother Trayvon is a very high-end cornerback. He can really, really play. And how that meshes with the Vikings is it's going to be, let's just say, an intriguing offseason to see what happens from the cornerback spot, specifically the fact that Trey Waynes and Mackenzie Alexander are unrestricted free agents. So Trayvon Diggs would fit in nicely on this team, not speaking for the team, but my opinion. And that'd be kind of cool if it was Diggs and Diggs and Diggs covering Diggs in practice. That could be fun. The penultimate question for this week's pick six comes from Connor, and it involves a rookie from last year taking a major jump in performance. Connor Forrest Lake, excellent question. Plays off of what we said earlier about Irv Smith Jr. Talented players, high-end players, take big jumps from years one to two. For instance, look at offensive lineman Brian O'Neill. 
He started a handful of games as a rookie, and he was good, in fact, very good. Brian O'Neill last year was one of the best right tackles in the NFL in his second year. So now you, you mesh that with that question from Connor. And you have Garrett Bradbury, Alexander Madison, Irv Smith Jr. What about BC? BC Johnson, seventh round pick. Chris Boyd, seventh round pick. They're all going to take positive steps. Austin Cutting, the long snapper, was a rookie. He was really good last year, probably will be better. I mean, if you're going to pin me down on one, I'm going to say running back Alexander Madison uh, because the running back is asked to do a lot in the Vikings offense from a lot of different angles. Alexander was good to very good last year. Watch Alexander Madison in his second year. Holy cow, can't wait. Final question for this week's Pick 6 comes from Doug. And Doug's question is, will the Vikings join all the other Minnesota teams and make a big trade soon? Doug in Los Angeles. Doug, Los Angeles, L.A., glitzy city. Very glitzy question. What do I look like, General Manager Rick Spielman? I got no idea if they're going to make a big trade. Maybe they will from a cap situation to the fact that the Vikings have a bevy of draft picks and they have, they have good players. Maybe they will. But you can be assured if they do and if they make a big trade like the Twins or the Wild or the Timberwolves did with Wiggins and D'Angelo Russell and all that, uh, it will be definitely bringing back currency or players that will help this team and maybe can also help the team from a salary cap standpoint. Only time will tell, and uh, that's the beauty of the offseason because there definitely could be trades. Thank you for your fantastic questions this week via Pick 6. And know this, at vikings.com slash pick 6, you can submit Vikings offseason related questions. But our coverage at vikings.com from Indianapolis at the scouting combine with all those rookies, it'll be second to none. You also can listen to my radio show at FM 100.3 KFAN 9 to noon. We will be in Indianapolis. And if you would like to submit pick six questions regarding the combine, go ahead and do so at that vikings.com slash pick six. Paul Allen, TCO Studios. Bye.